Hey guys, what's up? Don't mind my yoga mat. <laughs> so we are here doing our reading with Bast and our beautiful red candle. This reading is for the Sagittarius full moon which starts technically tonight in some areas, tomorrow in most. So let's get started. I literally just finished a meditation and um, I am floating to say the least. <laughs> And uh, it's probably because of the Moldavite. But um, Spirit says that all is not lost. All is not lost. Everything is fair in love and war. And so with that being said, I'm going to start with the first card here, which is the Seven of Cups. Six of Cups, excuse me. The Six of Cups. And what I like about the Six of Cups is that it is all about recalibration. It's all about rebalancing. It's all about getting back to what we know and love. Some of us, it's family. Some of us, it is friends. Some of it is sometimes reconciling our past, right? And, and becoming one with um, the things that we've done. And I love this card because it's almost all about karma, which is like what we're going through right now with uh, Saturn in retrograde. Okay, so I just want you guys to know that you have to take passion in loving yourself, but also loving others and getting back to that. Um, you may owe someone an apology right now. You may owe someone a sincere um I love you or a sincere explanation as to why you've done what you've done to them. Now is the time to give your flowers. Now is the time to backtrack and to make things right. Ashe. Now is the time to go back and make things right. Okay. So this is the moon that's all about the flower moon, which is why I love these little flowers coming out of this cup. And this, this, this person is giving this flower to them and you know they this person looks smaller than them and whatever the the thing I'm trying to say is that no matter how small or how big the gift is sometimes we just have to keep giving and not have to worry about um and I have to worry about the the things that we'll get back, right? So this time is all about receiving your good karma. I really feel like this week, you know, we are going to have a break. We're going to have a relief. We're going to have a breakthrough. And with that comes the two of wands upside down. And what I love about the two of wands upside down for me is that it is going into the three of wands, which the three of wands is, is all about long-term success. It's it's like, okay, you have the world in your hands now. Now it's time to move on, right? Now it's time to move on to the next phase, which is the three. And it's so funny that this is the six. This is the two upside down, the three. Three is a magnified or a lower magnification of six, right? Six is a higher magnification of three. Six is all about abundance and balancing. Three is all about the master teacher, all right? The prophet, prophesizing, going forth and speaking your truth, um, you know, stepping into higher consciousness. And I really love um, this reading because I really feel like that this is what a lot of us are about to do, is to really be able to speak in our truth and be joyful about it. All right? Jupiter actually rules um, Sagittarius. And if you know anything about Jupiter, Jupiter is, um, well, Sagittarius is a fire sign, but um, hence the, the red candle here. But um, uh, Jupiter is a plant, a very jovial plant, um, planet, I should say, very happy, um, you know, very 
very joyous, very pursuing. Um, it's one of our largest planets that we have, so there's a lot of love there as well. So just take into consideration um, the people around you and the partnerships and those that are trying to assist you and help you with your future endeavors or your endeavors currently right now, that they can be of service to you. Always be open, always be giving. But most of all, there may be someone that is needing an apology in your life right now. Um, so it's time to reach out to them. It's time to mend the um, the ties and, you know, keep it moving. Okay? Heal your karma. And so with the last message we have here, the first, the one card. This is your oracle card for the Sagittarius full moon. It is the ghost of the pumpkin patch. Count your blessings, okay? The first thing that we should always do when we wake up in the morning is count our blessings. The last thing that we should do at night is count our blessings. Throughout the day, we should count our blessings. Be thankful. Be thankful for the small things. Be thankful for the large things. But just be thankful. Be grateful. Be grateful that you're able to share this moment with me. Be thankful that I'm able to share this moment with you. Be thankful that, you know, you've... You've come into awareness, you've come into enlightenment, that you're able to move forward and step forward and that you're receiving new um, information, you're channeling, right? Um, just be so grateful for all the things that are going on in your life right now. But most of all, thank your higher self, all right? Thank your higher self, thank your angel guides, thank your ancestors, pour out some libations for them, venerate them, okay? Now's the time to do some offerings, all right, the energies are amplified times 10,000. So now is the time to, to do some offerings. If you haven't been active on your altar, do some, al do some altar work. Do some altar offerings for your deities, um, for your angel guides, for your ancestors, okay? Be grateful, be honest, be open, but most of all, be loving. This is your reading for the full moon in Sagittarius. Happy full moon, everybody. Peace.